Now, have you ever had a guest come back and tell you they love the texture that you put on top and they ask for more? So here's what texture does. What you do is you cut short little bits inside of existing length. They come back and they say, Sam, I loved it. I want some more texture. So obviously, we want to please them. So what do we do? Let's put more texture inside. Yet we need to be careful and understand that if we go back in on texture on top of texture, then I, it's difficult for me to pick up the same little hairs that I cut inside. So we come in, we retexturize, you cut more short hair, and you're left with just a few pieces of long hair. That's when you get no more sense of volume, or the hair becomes very flyaway and tends to become very frizzy. Here's a great way to control and recut the same hairs you cut in the last haircut. That's right, you can do it. This is called cross-checking your texture. This needs to be done dry. Take a vertical section. And remember the number three concept of spacing, where you reversed it for spacing. This time, you bring it and put your middle finger down inside this way. Bring it and weave back through the opposite way and come through. Guess what, my friends? This technique comes from beauty school when they taught me how to cut split ends. Watch this. As I slide up, I use my little finger, and guess what? Look what pops out, the texture we cut in the last haircut. Now we can come in, take that shorter, and you've recut the same hair as you cut in the last haircut. That helps to control how much hair you take out. Love it, watch one more time. Number three, push the middle finger so it comes more towards the palm of your hand. Take a slice, thin slices work the best. Come through comb through, lift, fold. It's almost like spacing, isn't it? But look at this time, it's on the outside of your finger rather than the inside. Now simply slide through, slide up, just use your index finger and look for the hair that you cut six weeks last haircut. Now, if you want to grow the texture out, take the blending shear and come in and close. That way you're starting to let some of this grow out and maintaining a small amount of texture inside. Great technique to cross-check your texture and control the amount of weight you take out. That is cross-checking your texture.